Hodger, late night here in the shop. Uh, I've had, made a purchase a few months ago, but it's been just sitting in the corner of my workshop for ages, and I decided, A, I need to start using it, and B, I need to start organising it, put it on a backboard, etc. This is the box. It was the second hand thing I bought. I bought the Craig K5 Master Jig. So I made it up already. This is the K5 jig itself. It comes with two uh, wings that come out on the side. Now I've already attached those to it. I need to screw this thing down. I found this bit of MDF. I'm going to screw it down to that. Rather than sort of pushing it to one end and cutting it up, I think I'm going to make the wings a little bit bigger. So I've got my tape measure, and this is essentially an inch and a half. Um, I'm going to cut up a couple of pieces of MDF, put them on top of each other, make the top one a little bit wider, so I've got some finger grips to lift it up. I'm going to cinch this down on the um, on the board, put a couple of even wider extended legs with MDF, so I make this so it can handle longer, wider stock. Going to use the uh, pocket drill screws that come with the set. 32 mil ones. I'm actually making two mistakes at this point. See if you can work out what they are and comment below. I correct them later on the video, but see if you can spot them at this point. Times from ten each side. Seventy-five. I'll do sixty-five. One at the bottom is going to be sixty-five. Going up to seventy-five. Sixty-five. One thirty. Two oh five. Two eighty. Okay, we've cut the um, the wings for each side, made each one at the bottom slightly narrower than the one at the top, so we've got somewhere to grip hold of to lift it all up. Now let's um, let's glue these on, clamp them up, wait for these to set. Okay, we've clamped up the glue, we've stuck a couple of screws to keep this together, that one's been glued up, this front, we go this side, we'll turn this over, we'll glue and screw it from the other side. We mark up the edge there, so when we turn it over, we know it's in the correct position, stick a clamp on the end to hold it. This is my extended pocket hole jig setup. The additional MDF wings each side are 210mm wider than the standard, which makes the overall 
102 centimeters, one meter and 20 mil. Gives me a nice stable base to put larger stuff on. We've got the um, the pop-up sections here. One thing I will notice, sometimes you push that down and it feels like it's done up. It's not, it flicks open. You've got to listen to a positive click. That, because I'm going to be turning this upside down to hang between rafters and it's going to slide in between rafters. And if I don't do this properly, this is just going to flip open and everything's going to fall out. So you've got to listen for that positive click. Shops as small as mine and wall space and floor space is at a premium. You've got to use your roof space if you can, use every available inch. Thanks for joining me on the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope we gave you some uh, entertainment, and I'll see you on the next video. See you bye.